And now let's see whether we can import um, audio or video files. So, um, new slide again. Blah, 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 something doesn't matter. And then I'm going to insert table, chart, picture, movie. So either, although it's um it's written movie, you can do the same thing in say movie and sound. So, uh, from the same icon. So I can import, for example, this. Um, it doesn't impress. Does not accept all uh, video and audio file formats. So I tried with an OG file. It didn't work. So if you have to convert your files use an appropriate software such as former factory or um, media coder or whatever so i did it already so i converted to mp3 open and you've got the icon here it's a bit large so there you go so if i click outside the icon it goes like that if i click on it you've got a contextual toolbar I think it's called a media bar or something uh, view toolbar media playback so if I click on here you can have you can play so pause of course and stop you can have it repeat um, and then you can this is the um, total duration of the of the piece and of course you've got the volume slide bar and of course if you want to add movie or sound you go like that and you choose another file again this is the cont contextual toolbar so if you click you don't have to close it by hand you just uh, click um, somewhere else elsewhere and then just disappears so this aspect of uh, inserting audio video file is very easy the problem here is what you do with your audio files when you want to send um, or move the presentation file so for example I'm going to save the file so I've got the ODP file and the um, mp3 file in the same folder which is the desktop folder however if I go my documents and I'm going to copy this file or I can move it doesn't matter so if I open it up go here there's a question mark and if I want to play there's nothing duration null so this is because um, in OpenOffice Impress you cannot impress you cannot um, import directly embed uh, that means attach the audio video file within the ODP file and the proof is here you can see that the ODP is uh, 90 kilobytes and if I had really embedded the mp3 it would be yeah two megabytes so so what it does it actually only uh, makes a link towards the actual mp3 so if you want to send it send this ODP file to someone you have to take both files and send them together however um, you have to understand the basic notion in computers of a relative and an absolute address so let's go for example back to my documents and you've got the untitled ODP here you just make something here copy so this time it is going to work obviously perfect so what it does actually uh, in ODP we make a link and we say go to the same folder no matter where we are it doesn't matter whether we are on the desktop or in my documents 
no matter where we are, in the same folder, there is an mp3 file called Chopin um, list, blah, 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 blah. So, so you can move these two files wherever you want and it's going to work either um, on a different folder, on a different computer, it's going to work. However, if you decide that after 25 slides, it's not very pretty to have the ODP and 25 MP3s here, and you say, okay, I'm going to use, I'm going to create a new folder, call it audio, and put this inside. Let's see if it's gonna work. Nope. That's what we call the relative uh, address. Because what we do, as I said before, Impress is going to search in the same exact folder as the ODP. So it's going to search for the MP3 file. So it's not going to look in subfolders, just the same folder. So if you want to uh, displace, move, the original mp3 to another folder then you have to reinsert properly with this and then insert blah 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 and do it correctly again 25 times so choose carefully if you need to have a subfolder do it um, from the beginning put everything all the audio files in it and then um, do the import thing um, in impress and at the same time, when you send it, pay attention and tell to the other people you're going to send it to that they have to keep the MP3s in the audio subfolder or wherever you've got you've got them.